Whoa, there's a turtle right there. Hey, turtle. Whoa. Oh my gosh, we're just about to do this test for the new QYCP3 sub. We get to our location and there's a giant turtle right here eating some seaweed. That is amazing. Ooh, look at that sandy area right there. I want to go Do you? I can see up there. Yeah, you can go swimming after we're done. Okay? I don't have my goggles though. Well, you can just swim if you want. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So we're back at the beach. It's just a beautiful day today. You can see it couldn't be any better. Um, we got the QYC P3, the Fifish P3 sub again. You may remember the first review I did of this where I was doing a prototype. Now this is, they sent me another one and this one is just about almost final production phase. So we're gonna see how this one compares to the last one. I'm hoping that they fix some thrust on the motor and also remember that lens went out of focus when I bumped the coral on the other one. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, dunk this in the water right now. There's a bunch of turtles around, so it's gonna be a pretty awesome. The water's crystal clear. Nice calm day. I want to get this in the water before the wind comes up. So let's get started with the, the re-review ocean test part two of the Fifish P3. Let's throw it in the water. Okay, motors are locked so I can grab it without it anything happening. Okay, so this one is gonna be the sub. Remember you have to hold it kind of like this. So it's gonna unravel like this, remember, off the side. Yeah, so hold that really tight. Okay, that's in the water. Notice I have this tied off right on the uh, the handle here just so it doesn't pull out of the controller. And that's something I mentioned to QIC to actually have some kind of clamp or something so you don't have to make a knot. All right, so we are recording and what we want to do is take off a lock. Okay, so now it's basically stabilizing. I can see it, uh, the vertical propeller pushing back and forward is on our left thumb stick and then full stick down is going to submerge so you're going to let it unravel right hon okay let's see what kind of footage we can get let's go just check out the turtles really quick since they're right over there look at those guys <laughs> wow amazing maybe we'll go up a little look at these guys I'm just going to say hi to them for a sec. Holy smokes. Yeah, there's a little one there too. So what a treat. Right off the bat as we went in the water, we're seeing some turtles. Let's go down again. So remember with this one, you can't um, adjust the pitch. So you're just basically up and down, forward, back, left and right. See where these turtles went. I'm pulling down to try to submerge a little more. There we go. So there's a turtle over there on the left hand side. Awesome. I don't want to get too close to these guys. I just want to observe them nice and easy. Awesome. So it should be in its kind of auto depth hold. You know, wherever I put it in the water, it should just stick there. Kind of go forward a little bit. Wow, so that turtle just kind of eating. I don't want to get too close to him. I'm going to back up a little. That's so cool. And this should be 4K footage, guys, so... Um, you'll be just viewing him in 4K. What an awesome treat. Get these guys right away. He's actually checking me out. He's swimming right towards the sub. <laughs> wow! Oh my gosh. Let's try to follow him just left and right. He's circling me now. Beautiful. This camera looks really good. It looks like a 
possibly even improved it somewhat. So I'm just staying in place and turning. And I'm about to go in the rocks, so. Let's leave these guys alone. Looks like they're gonna be here for a while. And let's just go explore. I don't wanna get my tether wrapped around. There they are right in front of me. You can see through my hat cam. They're just eating the seaweed right here on the shore. So here we go, let's submerge. Kind of get out to the deep. I have it full stick down. Go into the bottom. And I give it a little bit of forward motion here. And Sanaya is unraveling that for me. So it doesn't, uh, you know, mess up the video too much. Let's go out here. These turtles are just cruising right over here. This this place is called Turtle Town, so they're always here all over the place. Nice, beautiful little sandy area. Now this camera has all auto uh, white balance on and exposure and everything, so we're gonna see just how good this is. I'm full stick down, just trying to get down to the sand a little bit. I'm gonna try not to really touch the sand too much this time because remember before um, the sand kind of you know got in the sub a little bit we might do that at the end just to see if it can handle some of the sand there's some coral there so it looks like they really fixed the compass heading and actually where north is because north it's perfectly pointing towards north north is that way so that arrow on the top right is perfect so you should have a little bit of a better chance actually um, finding your way back with the track line. Looks like there's a couple of scuba divers in the water, so I'm gonna try to maybe film them a little bit. See if we can turn back towards ourselves. And it looks pretty accurate. That little headlight on the left bottom of the compass screen, that's pointing directly at me now where I'm standing. So that is really promising. I'm liking that. Let's go up a little bit. I don't want to get caught on the coral. Oh, it almost looked like it auto-focused by itself for a second. It should be kind of directly this way. Let me get the sub up. So I'm going to surface. This is full throttle up and just a little bit of forward motion. And I want to see where, oh, okay. I totally missed them. So they're out there. Let's try to see if I can just go follow them a bit. Okay, so this is full throttle forward now. So it's still doing a little bit of porpoising. You see the camera going up and down a little bit. Full throttle forward and it's not really pulling on the tether at all. That's just how this thing's working. I don't know, I kind of give up finding these divers. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go check out the reef here so uh, hopefully you guys can kind of see that in the video but it does kind of look like it's auto focusing to me that's actually really good looks like it's getting blurry at times but then it, when it finds something it focuses in on it there's a couple of cute little angel fish let's see if we can get these guys in shot here Well, let's just keep exploring. Some goat fish. There he is. Woo! Beautiful. Just gonna kind of zoom around in the rocks here. Oh, you know what? I didn't turn the lights on. So this right roller. I think I'm in, am I in high mode? Yeah, I got this switch to the right to high mode. So that should be our fastest mode. So I'm gonna turn the lights on full blast and let's see if that does anything. It's, it's quite sunny today already, so we don't really need to turn the lights on, but I'm just gonna kind of see how it looks with this. Let's navigate through this coral. Nice and smooth. I don't wanna to go too fast and too deep and cut through the coral or else I'm gonna snag my tether, remember? We don't wanna do that, right? 
I'm gonna go up so we don't get the coral here. Go right through here. And go back down. So you see how the background's a little out of focus and then it starts to refocus there. Awesome. Well, there's a little uh, flute fish. Let's hang out with him for a sec. Remember, I got the lights on full blast. Let's see how it just sits here. So I have controls fully off and it's really, there's some current pushing it a little bit. But it seems like it's they fixed the stabilization a bit more too. Oh, that almost looked like a parrotfish. Down in there. Oh, we're getting on the sand a little bit. I want to be careful here. Let's just check out this hole. Ooh, keep forgetting which control is which. So right now I have the right stick is down. Turn. Whoa, we got close in that hole, didn't we? I don't know, maybe I scared that parrot fish out. Going up, don't want to get anything caught. Man, what a perfect day for this, guys. I'm glad you guys are able to join me today with this awesome uh, demonstration. Now this one, uh, it looks like this one's gonna have the best camera and lighting, guys, out of all the ones I've tested so far. So keep that in mind, since this does have a one inch sensor. Let's see how well lit, whoops. Keep thinking the right stick's forward. Left stick is turning and forward. I'm gonna go down. This is with lights, full blast. And we're gonna see how it kind of lights up this cave a little bit. Really nice. Okay. Definitely don't want to get this tether caught, so I'm gonna go up and out of here. Okay. And I can see that I'm heading to the right. Pretty far to the right there. And I don't have to worry any at all about... Um, yeah, I think it does have autofocus. I just saw it get blurry and then focus on that coral head. That was great. Uh, anyway, I don't really have to worry about waves messing with my tether. Oh, there's the state fish. Let's follow him for a bit. Okay, let's see how easy it is to just follow a fish. You see it kind of getting out of focus and then it kind of refocused there for a sec. Fish all around it. Of course, there's some glare on my phone. So if you've got like a sunshade, I don't have a sunshade on my phone right now. So if you definitely, if you have a sunshade, use that and you'll have a much better experience or even better um, some goggles, slip your phone into some goggles. Or if you have something like those Epson goggles. All right, here's a little bit of swell. So this is a swell set and you can see how it's really pulling the sub around quite a bit. Back and forth, left and right. See that for a second there? That's the current, just the swell current, just pulling it. Anyway, we're gonna just keep uh, exploring and see what we can find. We turn on the lights a little bit, see if it affects just in open water, that's lights fully off. And uh, we're just gonna go explore. Turn the lights back on actually. Lights all the way on again. So I have to remember my left stick is my forward and turning left and right. Don't wanna go down in that little crevice because I don't want that tether to get caught. Since I can see around about where my drone is facing for the compass, I want to go kind of back to the left area. We'll just take a little tour around here and then we'll go back and uh, come in and check out these turtles again before they go away or it gets too rough. Okay. I am noticing turning left and right guys, just something to note that it doesn't really want to put any input in until I'm like almost about halfway through the stroke of the left stick. 
Uh, as far as the up and down on the vertical motor and the forward and back, it's a little more sensitive, but for left and right turning, maybe something they still wanna work on is uh, give it a little bit more like linear feel to it. Okay, so let's just zoom around here. Getting a little bit of current again. Oh, first time we bump into some coral. This will be a good test. Last time I bumped into some, into some coral and it went out of focus, so this will be a good test if it'll do that again. Uh, wow, so I'm just kind of accidentally hitting some coral. Get out of there. Whoa, that turtle just flipped over. That was cool. Okay, so we're coming back over to the left. Now. Just continuing to explore. A little bit of a ridge here. Let's go down into the sand again. Let's follow this ridge out a bit. Let me go down. I guess this might be a good time to try a little bit of a sand test. If you do accidentally start to rest on the sand, uh, what happens? You know what I mean? Let's just get really close and not set on the sand and go forward and see how good it is at just keeping its level and being just above the sand. We might run out of tether here. Looks like we are. Tell me when it gets really tight and tugs on you, Kaysenaya. It is now? Okay. Let's tug it on her. So I just reached kind of the end of my tether. You can see how it's deeper blue sea out there and it's pulling back on the drone or the sub. Um, okay, so we'll get off the sand a little bit. Kind of turn around. Okay, so out of focus and boom, auto-focused. Yes, thank you QYC for doing that. Looks like you guys fixed your uh, focusing issues. Okay, so high current, swoop, pushing up, vertical motor. We're getting some high current right now because the swell, we're getting a little set. Follow these fish, see how good it is. Yeah, so they just need a little bit more sensitivity in left and right. It's a little bit difficult to follow things. Not too bad, but it could be better is what I'm saying. But definitely, man, the best camera I have seen yet in one of these subs. Hands down. This fish is checking me out. Whoa, there's a couple of them there. Wow, look at that shot. Let's not lose these guys. Oh, did I lose them? Yeah, so man, if they can just Get that left and right turning a little bit better. Man, this thing's gonna be almost perfect. As far as a non-multi-motor um, for stability sub goes, you know? Okay, let's get our bearings here. So I'm looking at my compass again, and I wanna go start going more to the left. I wanna kinda stay way out here, but I just wanna go to the left a little and see what we can come up with before we come in. Going down. You feel it tugging, hon? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's a good example of just some nice white sand and some blue water. Trying to get all the way down to the bottom. Oh, we're resting on the bottom, okay. So we're just creeping along the bottom a little bit, slightly resting on it. And I've got uh, maybe about a half throttle forward. Okay. Starting to tilt a little from pulling on the tether. Is it still tugging hard, honey? Okay. So we should be kind of, we should be right around there now. So we'll just start to come back. Check out these fish on the way home. 
beautiful out here. Now this is with no filter guys, this is just all automatic. It's just what this thing is doing on its own. Getting over this little ridge and then we'll kind of drop it down. Oop. Yep, total autofocus right there worked perfectly as that coral came into view. Whoa! Okay, we want to get off this coral. Full stick forward. There we go. Okay, it looks like we're close to the reef, so I'm gonna surface here and make sure my tether's not caught up. Oh, okay, so I'm way over there now, so I wanna be careful going around that ridge. I can see the lights shining straight at us. Hopefully, maybe you guys can see that in the video. And that is perfectly accurate on the compass. Direction radar on the drone, that's perfect, man. Loving it. So I'm gonna stay on the surface and go full throttle forward. So here's what we'll do, we'll dive down a little. And we'll just start coming on back, straight forward. And see how good it is at locking its bearing without me moving it left and right at all. Okay, still full stick down and now I'm full throttle forward. This is its maximum speed, letting off the altitude. Pitched up a little bit on its own. Full throttle straight ahead. Coming in quick. Right back at us. Up a little bit to avoid this coral. Back down. I see it auto focusing, excellent. Fantastic. And there it is, it's right there in front of us. So that kept its bearing perfectly coming back at us. That's the exact bearing I had coming in. So they really did uh, a lot of upgrades on this since my last review, so I'm really impressed. And we'll talk about those uh, when we finish up here. Now this is gonna be a long one, guys, but if you're, if you're gonna dunk a couple thousand in a sub like this, you need to know how this thing's gonna work. And that's why my videos are quite in depth. Okay, let's go check out this turtle. There's a turtle, I can see him right in front of you. <laughs> Sorry about the cable guy. So I just make sure it doesn't like wrap around their neck, right? We don't wanna hurt them in any way whatsoever. Okay, let's just film Mr. Turtle a little more before we bring it on up. Okay, there he is. Yeah, so I'm feeling it right now. It needs a little bit of left and right tweaking on the controls. Was well, that another turtle over there? Whoa, they're all over the place. Holy smokes. For some reason, I think this sub attracts them. <laughs> or not, probably just coincidence. I'm gonna hang out right here and just film the baby and the mother feeding on seaweed. Awesome. Look at this. Fantastic. And the sub is doing a good job at keeping its depth. I'm looking at the left of the screen, top left, and I'm seeing that it's maintaining about 2.3 feet without me even touching the controls. And the yaw is staying locked on solid. So I'm not needing to worry about that at all. And we are still recording in 4K, guys. Current's kind of taking it back a little bit. Don't want to get too close to these guys, but I just want to, you know, get some film of them. Maybe we'll just kind of go around this little pinnacle a little bit. Oh, there's one right there. I think I'm right over one. Whoa, there, there he is. He just kind of surfaced right underneath me. Wow. So 
we're just kind of slowly turning the camera to keep them in shot. These two guys are just loving it. Hanging out right there. So there's the set again, the waves. You can hear him pounding on the shore and a little notch there. There's a turtle. I'm gonna put it in slow mode, so I'm flipping the switch to L. And hi. <laughs> Man, if I just had a little more precision, it would be so much better on the yaw. Just need a little more precision, QIC. But you can see how it's kind of out of focus. So that L is really slow. I'm full throttle forward now. There we go. Okay. It seems to be kind of turning on its own a little bit. I think I'm gonna switch back into high mode. It seems like the control is a little bit more precise. Yeah, a little better with the high mode. Let's try the lights in here close. Now this might be, the water is a little bit shallow here, so it might be a little mur murky. But this, these are with lights um, fully blasting. Gonna kind of get into this crack. Oh, not too much into it. Oh crap. Uh okay, now we need to figure out how to get out of here. Full throttle up. I hope I'm not messing on my tether. Let's check out the tether. Back, back. Whoa, so be careful if there's some a little bit of current. Definitely be careful going in too close to crevices and stuff. You know what we should try is maybe a full throttle backwards test. So I'm just going to point at this reef and then I'm going to go full throttle back now. Let's see how it is at backing up and what it does. Yeah, it seems actually better going backwards. It's a little slower. But it doesn't do any porpoising. It doesn't have any porpoising problems or anything. There, is that the baby? Yeah, that's the baby and then the mom is like right next to the sub. Oh, he's going over the rock. There he is. Yeah, just need a little bit more precision again on the left and right to really be able to track something perfectly. Oh, baby's going that way. There he is. Oh, he's not even scared of it. Let's get out of his way. Meanwhile, mom is <laughs> right, right here. Look at this turtle. She's right there, just like three feet away from us. Wow, there's three turtles right in view right now. I'm able to catch this all with the QIC Five Fish P3 submarine. Of course, you could be in the water doing this too, but it's just because these things are just coming up right on shore. 
I guess this one really found the good seaweed right here. Because it just keeps trying to get in the crack to eat that stuff. Amazing. Let me try some pictures. Okay, guys, before we call it. Okay, I can't take pictures while it's recording, so I'm going to stop recording. So the top left button, picture. Okay, I saw the screen kind of flash. I'm not sure how good they're going to be right here because it looks kind of washed out. But let's try to get some pictures of this baby turtle. I think this one is, if you hold it, I think it does like burst shot. So let's try that. Let's go in a little bit. Yeah, so it's burst shotting that. I was holding down the picture taking button and it was just able to burst though. They didn't have to keep pressing it, which was really cool. Maybe something they can work on. We don't need to see that save location every single time we take a photo, you know, or maybe a much shorter time frame, maybe just like one second. Because what starts to happen is it's just always in the view when you're trying to get your shots after you're taking photos. So they really need to get that out of the way of your uh, FPV so you can see what you're doing. By the way, what's our power? Well, we're taking some pictures. Uh, power 64%. Wow, we've been in the water for a while. I got the lights fully blasted. And it's doing really good, just maintaining. Really good battery life for how good this camera is and how heavy this thing is. How about this, guys? Since we have it here next to the shore, let's see how it looks in this water, this nice blue water. I'm just gonna go just under the surface so you guys can still see it through the ocean. And I'm gonna do some full throttle run. So here's full throttle forward. So you can see how it's going up and down, kind of interesting, but not good for camera, of course. Now I'm gonna go full left while I'm going full, full forward and come back. So a little bit of a dive and porpoising, just a little bit. So that's maximum speed there. I don't want to get my tether tangled, so I'm going to go back here. Go back underneath. Awesome. Okay, guys, so let's try something. Since we're going to just bring it in now, uh, let's just try to do some sand sitting and see what happens and see if we can bring it back up or if it messes up like it did last time. Sit it in the sand. Okay, and then I'm going to lock the motor and turn it off. So motor's off now. And now it's just drifting, so it's not gonna use its compass cal or any kind of stabilization. It's just sitting there. All we're seeing is it kicking up sand. So motor back on. And then we'll be able to kind of scoot it along the floor. And I like to do this because it's just an example of what could happen if you get in a circumstance, you know, that's it's not major, but it's something that they need to build these little subs for in case you get like stuck in the sand somehow and it takes you a little while to get out. You don't want it to completely damage the sub when you get back. So you want to make sure these things can handle this. Even though most people will say don't do that. I just do it for testing purposes. So we're still kind of just sitting in this little cove and testing how the motors are going to react and the whole sub is going to react to being in the sand. Full reverse. Turning left, forward, get out of this little nook. Still kind of sitting on the sand. Nice little spot here though. Look at those little holes through the reef. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm gonna push, oh, there's a little cave. Nice. Now I'm gonna push full up on the motor. 
and see if it can get back up. Let's see how it does. Okay, full up. Looks like we dug ourselves a hole, doesn't it? So I'm now gonna press full forward and just get out of here. Just wanna follow these fish a little bit. Looks like we have a nice school of goat fish. Just gonna sit here for a sec and watch these guys. So to me on the screen, it looks out of focus. You guys can be the judge of that. Because it's not able to focus in the abyss on those fish. Okay guys, well I think that's gonna do it. I'm gonna book it on home and I'm really impressed how, how they just completely fixed the compass. It's really intuitive to know that north is where it should be north on that uh, white arrow and that the headlights of the sub and the degree measurement on that compass is completely accurate as far as what I can see. We're gonna bring it up and pull this thing in and do like a final pros and cons. I think I mentioned most of what they could improve throughout the video, but we'll just run through it again one last time. So this will be a good test. Whoa, that turtle just, they wanna get their food, don't they? So we should get out of their way for sure. So here's a good test on pulling it up and also a little bit of durability. It's kind of banging on the rocks just a little bit. Um, but there's that anchor in the back of this one, which takes all the tension off of the connector. And it seems to be strong enough. I'm just tugging on this. And this is one of the heaviest out of all the subs that I've reviewed so far. And uh, it seems to be doing just fine with this tether thing here. And of course, to power the thing off, you have to actually disconnect this cable. Once you're all done, make sure you disconnect that. Definitely don't want to get any salt in there, so just be careful getting salt in there. What they probably should do, I didn't see one in the pack, but they probably need to be giving us some kind of screw on seal so we don't start getting salt water in there and damaging it. Everything looks pretty solid. I am feeling, you see that sand kind of spilling out. So apparently it's still getting a little bit of sand in the belly. And I don't, I'm not sure if that's really avoidable. Um, I don't remember seeing these holes here. So that might be a way that they improved it to let some of the sand expel. It also seems like some sand's coming out here too. But we did rest on the bottom for quite some time. And so it definitely probably has a little bit of sand in there, but I was able to get back way better than that first edition the first test of the pure prototype. So that's an upgrade. The camera, phenomenal. The autofocusing seemed to do really good. It's just that when you're trying to focus on maybe a few fish in the deep blue, it's kind of out of focus. It's kind of needs something solid in front of it to, uh, to focus in on. The compass, phenomenal. They fixed that really good. It was really good for navigation. I didn't really have to look out much to see it in the water and bring it up. I could just know where I am, and as long as you don't move from your position, uh, you can pretty much just come back right in your general direction, and then it all, it's also using the world compass to know where north is, and so you know where the, the uh, sub is facing, so really good improvements there. Remember when I was trying to track some fish, occasionally it felt like I had to push the stick a little too much to get those fine movements in. So if they can kind of improve that stick input on the yaw, then this thing is really gonna be almost perfect the lights are super bright on this one. I think this one has the brightest lights out of all the ones I've tested so far. Um, so really liking it. I'm hoping that the final version will just take care of all the little issues that I'm talking about here. And don't forget, I'll have had that 4K footage on. We'll have turtles in there. Um, we'll have the sand, the ocean floor, the reef, some other fish. And you can judge for yourself how good that 4K footage and photos were. This thing's got a one inch sensor, remember the camera. So it's the best camera also out of all the ones I tested. So really have high hopes for this one. It looks really good. Uh, the only other con would be the, the horizontal stabilization. So all the subs with only one motor are gonna kind of rock a little bit more and then you don't really have that pitch control. So if you're at a certain height and you wanna pitch down to get something, you can't do that. You have to bring the sub up and down like this. And uh, that's really the only other negative on these one vertical motor subs. Tonight, hey, thanks a lot for helping. 
I really appreciate it. You did a great job handling that cable. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video. So Naya and I, hopefully, we'll see you in the next sub video. Got a lot more to test and had fun today. Perfect conditions, as you can see. We're doing some more stuff with the Mavic Air today. So tune into the channel, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next review. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where are we stopping for treats? <laughs> Hi, turtle. Wow, he's coming right up to the shore. So now he's kind of going in the cracks and getting the, you know, more of the seaweed, like the fresh seaweed. Wow. Do you see the water squirt out as it goes? Yeah, I think I think the water squirts out when he's trying to chew the seaweed. That's pretty amazing.